uh, stomach it will go into every part of the body but that hormone will be with the blood but it won't work any anywhere whenever the blood will reach to the kidney this particular hormone which has been released by the uh, pituitary gland it will work on the kidney so kidney is the target organ and released by the pituitary gland so these are released in very small amount and they work only at the target organ right uh, when deeply go into that we call it cell targeting cell signaling and all that but that is out of your place right so now what about the enzyme for enzyme they are directly released into target organ and there is a pipe between the gland and so that pipe is called duct duct is basically uh, this is a latin term right so we call it duct so uh, in, in 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 english we can uh, simply call it pipe or tube right so uh, suppose that it is liver liver have to uh, digest fat or assimilate the fat so there is a pipe between the liver and the uh, this part intestine right so a pipe comes from the liver that is called bile duct or bile pipe so that bile duct it bring the bile from the liver and releases to the small intestine so there is a particular duct and it is released by the duct so enzyme are released by the duct and they reaches directly into target organ but hormones they are released from the gland they are released into blood and they work at the particular target organ that is the basic difference between the hormone and enzyme functioning of hormone and enzyme now the glands are of two type right let me explain you first then uh, i'll dictate you right so glands are of two type and in case if you are feeling any disconnect between you and me and in case if you are unable to get any point or any any heading or any concept so feel free to ask me right so let just pause over there and raise your hand and ask a question to me right don't hesitate so look the glands are of two type exocrine gland as well as endocrine gland. so exocrine glands are basically those glands which are the glands with the duct duct gland means their basic function is enzyme secretion right so they are duct glands means they have tube for secretion i have just drawn on uh, this uh, hepatic duct right uh, hepatic duct which arises from the or which originate from the liver and it takes the hormones uh, enzyme sorry it takes the enzyme to this small intestine the second one is called endocrine gland which we are going to study hopefully you must have complete with the exocrine gland that is the uh, digestive glands and you must have uh, uh, studied it in your uh, the digestion part the second kind of the gland are endocrine gland so endocrine glands are basically those glands which secrete the hormone i have told you that it like the pituitary gland they are ductless gland they do not have any duct or pipe kind of the thing these hormones are directly released into the blood then these are secreted into blood right now again the endocrine glands are of two type now it this is important to understand endocrine glands are of two type holocrine gland and heterocrine glands holocrine glands are those glands which secrete exclusively only hormone for example pituitary gland they do not do any other function their exclusive function is secretion of the hormones they just secrete the hormones and they do not do anything right they are called holocrine there are some glands which are called heterocline gland they have other function other than hormone secretion as well right so they have some other function as well for example pancreas so pancreas secretes enzyme you must have studied in the class of digestion and it also increases the hormone the enzyme it secrete that, that you know that the, the that is the pancreatic enzymes right lipase and all that then the hormone is secreted that is the insulin glucagon right so this kind of the hormones it is secreted by the pancreas so it secretes hormone as well as enzyme so we call it heterocrine gland another gland that is the ovary ovary have the function of it's not like that that it will secrete the enzyme ovary is the gland it secrete egg as well so egg secretion of egg is another function but it's also secrete the hormones right so the ovary is also a heterocline so did you got this point classification of the glands and i want you people to please note it down this is the schematic diagram and these are very really helpful and they are these are mark fetching uh, practices 
when you write it down any answer is it clear to all of you shaida iram so yes yes so, so hetero yes. heterocline gland behaves both like endocrine and exocrine uh yes right they behave as both exocrine as well as endocrine please note it down this one and when you note it down uh, you have to let me know then we'll go ahead i'll i'll uh, dictate these all the whatever uh, it is written over here in ppt as a schematic diagram i will dictate all this point done done okay so please uh, start coding now uh, so first uh, i would like to explain what are the hormones right rather hormones please note down what is the exocrine and endocrine first but then we'll go with that right so please note it down exocrine gland first the food put there in types of gland So first it exocrine gland. Exocrine glands are the gland with duct. Exocrine glands are the gland with duct. Will it stop? Can you repeat this again? Exocrine gland. are the gland with duct where secretion is carried through duct where secretion is carried through duct to a particular organ to a particular organ for to a particular organ for some metabolic activity for some metabolic activity for example salivary gland next heading endocrine gland they are called they are called ductless gland they are called ductless gland or gland of internal secretion Let's talk. Secretion is secretion is directly released into blood and secretion is directly released into blood and are called hormones. next hormones are hormones are now you have now i just want to define what are the hormones 
हॉर्मोन्स आर नॉन न्यूट्रिएंट केमिकल्स हॉर्मोन्स आर नॉन न्यूट्रिएंट केमिकल विच एक्ट एज विच एक्ट एज इंटर सेल्युलर मैसेंजर एंड आर एंड आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू एंड आर प्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू ट्रेस अमाउंट नेक्स्ट प्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू प्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू ट्रेस अमाउंट ट्रेसेस इन ट्रेस अमाउंट इज वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट next the endocrine gland may be the endocrine gland may be of two type colocrine and heterocrine the endocrine gland may be of two type कोलोक्राइन ग्लैंड एंड हेड्रोक्लाइन फुल स्टॉप ए कोलोक्राइन ग्लैंड द एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड नाउ आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिफाइन द होलोक्राइन ग्लैंड फोर द हेडिंग होलोक्राइन ग्लैंड द एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड दैट सीक्रेट the endocrine gland that secrete only hormones that secretes only hormones are called holocrine gland are called holocrine gland example pituitary adrenal etc next b hydrocrine gland the glands which secrete hormone and having the gland which secrete hormone and having some other functions as well and having some other functions as well called heterocline gland example pancreas and ovary uh no uh, put one more uh, important line so that is a uh, note a co discovered hormone so uh, so the hormone was uh, discovered by uh, william m bellis and ernest h starling right 1903 right so these were two scientists who discovered the uh, uh, hormone right and what is the chemical nature of the hormone so what are they chemically chemically what are they okay. what is their chemical composition of hormone so look like what is the chemical composition of enzymes what are they can anybody tell me what is the chemical composition what exactly they are what is the chemical or very simple uh, way i am asking what is the chem chemical nature of uh, 
Jonathan James. Tell me, Ram. Saida. Yusuf, tell me, please. Jana. Hey, come on, guys. You have already completed the digestive system. And even you have gone through with the biomolecule. So we have, have not done that. Ah, it's not there. You you haven't. We have not done. Okay, okay. You have not done that, and you was you directly jumped into this one in human physiology. I don't know. This is the last chapter. I think it should be the last chapter. Chemical coordination. No. Okay. So have you done the biomolecule chapter? Biomolecule. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, what are the enzymes? There is a very famous line in biology. Enzymes are biocatalysts. <laughs> they are the biocatalysts. That is the. This is their philosophy. They, this is the their physiological re reaction. What is their chemical composition? When I say what is the chemical composition of muscles, you will directly say, sir, they are made up of elastic pro elastin protein. Right. So look. If you uh, haven't uh, like learned till, till date, so please note it down one line somewhere else. Even you can note it down over here in the box. All enzymes are protein. Note it down. All enzymes are protein. But this is a very famous line in biology. All enzymes are protein. But all proteins are not enzymes. Get it? All enzymes are protein, but all proteins are not enzyme. Clear? So basically, enzymes are protein. Now, what are the hormones? Some of the hormones are amino derivatives, right? Example, melatonin, right? So some enzymes are protein derivative, protein hormones, like oxytocin. Some hormones are iodose hormone, right? They are iodine derivative, like thyroxine. Some hormones are steroid, like testosterone. So what are the chemical composition or chemical nature of, if someone asks you what are the chemical nature of hormone, so you can say either they can be derivative, amino derivative, or protein derivative, protein hormones, or iodothyronine, right? Means iodine derivative, or they are steroids, right? So this is the chemical nature of hormone. Did you got my point or not? Please tell me. Tell me, guys. Are you getting yes, my sir. point? Yes, sir. Is it clear to everyone? Okay, great, great, great. So please note it down with the example. Chemical composition of enzyme. And let me know when you note it down. Done. Done. So uh, one second, sir. One second. Yeah, sure, sure. Done, sir. Okay. So the next heading is that is hormone versus enzyme. This question is important for your basically your school exam. So 
Or what is the difference between the hormones and energy? Right. So at least if this question, if in the last this question, it will be a three marker or two marker question. Normally they ask it in three bar as a three marker question, right? Short answer. So hormones have low molecular weight, right? So the, their molecular weight is low, and enzymes they have very high molecules. First difference, right? The second difference. What is the second difference? They may be. We have already understood that they may be steroid, peptide. Or amino derivative. So that is the chemical nature. So difference in chemical nature. But what about the enzymes? They are simple protein. I have already told you. Uh, about the hormones, they are slowly or quickly working, right? They may be slow or quick, but enzymes are always slow, right? Then fourth one, either they accelerate or retard the rate of reaction, right? And what about the enzyme? They uh, speed of the the speed of the rate of reaction, right? They always increase the reaction, so they the speed up the rate of reaction, right? Next fifth one, uh, hormones are not uh, reusable, right? Uh, sorry, uh, hormones they do not have reversible reaction, but yes, enzymes have reversible reaction, right? It means what does it mean? Enzymes have reversible reaction. You can break down starch into glucose. Again, glucose, glucose can be converted into starch. Right? That is quite possible. Right? So please note it on these uh, at least five differences between the hormones and enzymes. Right? And there one more point is written at the bottom. Vitamins act as coenzyme. Now I will tell you what are the coenzymes. First, please note it on the difference between hormone and enzyme. Done, sir. Okay, great. Done, everybody? Yes, sir. So, actually, what are the coenzymes? So, it is in note, it is written over here vitamins act as coenzyme. Basically, coenzymes are those which help enzyme to uh, enzyme function. So, if vitamin deficiency takes place in our body, some of the enzyme stops working or their efficiency decreases. That's why vitamin deficiency leads us for the malnutrition, right? So, note it down. Vitamins act as coenzymes. Coenzymes are those which help enzyme. Coenzymes are those which help enzyme for their functioning. Now come to the human endocrine system. How many glands are present? Basically, there are 12 glands, main 12 glands, which is represented over here. After the like after I dictate it, you can take the screenshot of this one. Right. So you have to just focus uh, the first and foremost uh, gland, which is present, which is called master gland as well. Right. That is called pituitary gland. So pituitary gland is also called master gland. It secret number of the enzyme, growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, adenocorticotropic hormone, follicular stimulating hormone, right? MSH, hai na? so melan uh, uh, melanocyte stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, prolactin, oxytocin, vasopressin, 
So there are a number of the enzyme. We'll study uh, in uh, later one by one, right? Till the time. This is the pituitary gland. Please keep, keep the location. This is the location of pituitary gland. Then the second one that is called hypothalamus gland. So hypothalamus gland secrete, right? Uh, there one more thing. Hypothalamus gland is called secretory of pituitary gland. Why? It suggests pituitary gland what you have to do. It work on feedback mechanism. What does it mean? Uh, is it asked pituitary gland to please secrete some enzyme or oh, sorry hormones then after the suggestion of hypothalamus pituitary will start secreting hormone suppose that now the hormone is no more required in the body then it will get the feedback from the body that hormone is not required now in the body for example let me explain you now what happened a person have eaten. Now, what is the feedback mechanism? I'm going to explain you what is the feedback. So, feedback mechanism. How does the hypothalamus gland work on the feedback mechanism? Example, the, there is a person who have taken the sugar. So, sugar eaten. Now, sugar is there in body. Now, this information, that information sugar came in the body, this information will go to hypothalamus. So, this information will go to hypothalamus. Now, hypothalamus will suggest whom? It is secretory. It will suggest whom? It will suggest pituitary. What? Please order hormone secretion to whom? To pancreas. Pituitary will give, will give order. On the suggestion of hypothalamus, pituitary will get or give order to whom? It will give order to pancreas. Pancreas will secrete what? Insulin. So pancreas will secrete insulin. Now, what will do? Insulin will remove the sugar. Means it will remove, it will reduce or it will balance the sugar. Balance sugar. So, this is the process. Hypothalamus given suggestion on what? Feedback that sugar is there. Now, what happened? Complete this sugar is removed, right? Sugar removed. Who removed? Insulin removed the sugar. Now what will happen? Again, there will be feedback to stop feedback, right? Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus will again suggest whom? Pituitary. What? Uh, sorry. Hypo yes. Hypothalamus will suggest pituitary to stop the secretion of, right? Now pituitary will order whom? Pituitary will order to pancreas. What? Stop the secretion of insulin. Now the insulin secretion will stop. This process is called feedback mechanism. So who gives the feedback? Hypothalamus gives the feedback. Right? To whom? Pituitary. Pituitary work on the suggestion or feedback of hypothalamus. Right? But pituitary control all rest of the gland. Hence pituitary is called master gland. Is it clear to all of you or not? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Right? Okay. So you can note it down. Please note it down this point. Hypothalamus gland work on feedback. Work on feedback. Work on feedback mechanism. Will it stop? It gives suggestion to pituitary gland. We'll stop. Now we'll uh, study more in uh, like when we'll deal one by one, right? The third one is pineal gland. Pineal gland is called photosensor, right? So there are three glands which are basically found 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 in our brain. 
pituitary gland, hypothalamus gland, and pineal gland. Now the fourth one is thyroid gland. Right? It's uh, helpful for growth and uh, uh, thyroid gland. Right? Generally, it it, it becomes uh, um, malformation in the. Uh, it increases the immunity, and basically, sometimes uh, it is the uh, start malfunctioning in older people. Right. Next, the fifth one is parathyroid gland. So thyroid and parathyroid glands are found simultaneously. They are found in that the thyroid glands are the big gland and parathyroid glands remains stuck on the thyroid gland. The sixth one is thymus gland. Right? Thymus gland. It is found below the neck. Thymus gland. The seventh one is you have to just just focus on those which I have written in green. Seventh one is pancreas. Secret insulin, glucagon, somatotropin. And then the eighth one is adrenal gland. It is found above the kidney. Ninth one is kidney is itself a gland. Tenth, testis is a gland. Eleventh, ovary is a gland. And then last but not the least, twelfth, uterus is a gland. So these kind of these type of the glands are found. These many glands are found in our. If you want, you can take this screenshot, please. Then we will deal one by one. Done, sir. Done? Great. Now let's start one by one. So the first one is, that is hypothalamus or and pituitary gland, right? I'll tell you what is the look. This base part, which remains attached with our brain, this is called hypothalamus. Uh, hypothalamus gland. So this upper part where which is attached, this is called thalamus, and the below part that is called hypothalamus. Uh, hypothalamus gland itself uh, do not secrete any enzyme. Actually, uh, the enzymes are secreted by the like uh, the only uh, it's a posterior lobe, right? So this is the anterior lobe. This is the posterior lobe, right? So hypothalamus gland, the lower part, right? So lower part have th there are three lobes basically. Posterior, anterior, and intermediate. Intermediate lobe have nothing to do. Just it's just separate the posterior and anterior one, right? Now hypothalamus gland, the whatever the enzyme secreted, they are secreted by the pituitary gland. So this is the posterior lobe of pituitary gland, right? So posterior lobe of pituitary gland secrete the hypothalamus enzyme, right? The enzyme of hypothalamus gland. Hypothalamus gland itself do not secrete anything. Anterior lobe secrete number of the enzyme, right? Uh, like uh, somatotropin hormone, follicular stimulating hormone, growth hormone, and what happened? The posterior lobe of posterior lobe of uh, pituitary gland it secrete this upper part is pituitary and below part is hypothalamus. The posterior part of the pituitary gland it secretes the enzyme of hypothalamus. So these posterior, these enzymes are formed in hypothalamus, but they are secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary. They are basically vasopressin and oxytocin. There are two hormones which are formed in hypothalamus gland, but secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary. Right. Got it? Or not? The diagram, please note down the diagram. Rather noting on my just just take the screenshot. Oh. 
put the heading hypothalamus line. Take the screenshot, draw, uh, leave the space in your uh, notebook and uh, then draw it after the class, right? Put the heading hypothalamus line and start coding now. I'll dictate. Hypothalamus is present below the thalamus. Below the thalamus. Let's talk. It provides anatomical connection between it provide anatomical connection between it provide anatomical connection between nervous system and endocrine system because nervous system that is the brain part it provide anatomical connection between nervous system and endocrine system next point its hormone whose hypothalamus gland its hormone influences the function of pituitary gland its hormone influences the function of pituitary gland full stop it is called it is called control center of it is called control center of supreme commander which one hypothalamus gland it is called control center of supreme commander it secrete nine different kind of hormones it secrete nine different kind of hormones and they are neuro hormone they are neuro hormones next corticotropin corticotropin releasing hormone corticotropin releasing hormone next thyrotropin releasing hormone next growth hormone next gonadotropin hormone next prolactin hormone next prolactin inhibitory hormone next msh releasing hormone next msh inhibitory hormone right so these are the hormones which are secreted by the uh, uh, hypothalamus gland but they do not function themselves directly so they actually influences the function of or influences the function of pituitary gland right so this was the diagram did you take in the diagram this screenshot of the diagram Taken everybody.
ओके ग्रेट ग्रेट तो नेक्स्ट वन इज Is it clear? Hypothalamus gland is clear or not? Please tell me. Yes, okay, sir. Okay. Now, now please put the heading. Second one, that is a pituitary hormone. So, what is the pituitary gland? We have just seen the diagram. This upper part is pituitary gland, which is divided into posterior and anterior lobe. Intermediate just divide the posterior and anterior lobe in two part. Right. So, put the heading. Pituitary is the smallest gland. Located below, pituitary is the smallest gland. Located below hypothalamus. Located below hypothalamus. Full stop. It is. 1.3 centimeter in diameter it is 1.3 centimeter in diameter and 0.5 gram in weight it have two lobes it have Two lobes, anterior and posterior. Now there are two lobes. Please note down the hormones of two lobes, right? So, anterior lobe hormones and posterior lobe hormones, right? So. these are the anterior lobe hormone and this is the intermediate and this is the posterior gland hormone so please note it down anterior lobe hormone so anterior lobe hormone gh and sth so growth hormone and somatotropin hormone then tsh thyroid stimulating hormone or thyrotropin then acth <coughs> so keep on writing that in front of them what exactly they do so first growth hormone and somatotropin hormone they are responsible for just growth keep on writing now gh or sth growth hormone or somatotropin hormone in front of that you can write responsible for body growth <coughs> next thyroid stimulating hormone releases the thyroid acth adreno corticotropin hormone acth they stimulate adrenal gland they stimulate adrenal gland next prl prolactin hormone prolactin hormone prl prolactin hormone or mammotropin hormone full stop it is called hormones of maternity it is called hormones of maternity basically prolactin hormone prl hormone uh, release of prl hormone takes place after the birth of the child and this is basically Uh, uh milk ejecting hormone so it help the mil, uh, milk formation or uh, milk ejection in the newly formed mother right so that is the function of prolactin hormone prl right next gonadotropin hormone gonadotropin hormone it help in 
it helps in functioning of gonads gonads means sex gland gonadotropin hormone it help in functioning of gonads like fsh and lh right so these were the hormones secreted by anterior lobe now ent intermediary lobe right so intermediary in between lobe so first it divide posterior and anterior lobe it also releases one hormone that is called msh melano uh, melanocyte stimulating hormone please note it down intermediate lobe releases melanocyte stimulating hormone then hormones of posterior lobe so collectively the hormones of posterior lobe are known as pituitary pituitary is combination of two hormone oxytocin and the second one is that is adh or vasoprotein so these are the hormone released by the pituitary gland did you got it or not tell me if you don't tell me guys iram yusuf jana is it clear or not yes sir okay wait note it down everything are you able to note it down or am i fast able to note it down each and everything whatever i am dictating yes sir okay great great so next hormone is that is a pineal or thymus gland hormone right so, so put the heading first pineal hormone pineal gland next is pineal gland so now what is the pineal gland and what is its function so can you tell me anyone what is the function of pineal gland it is also known as third eye no pineal gland is also known as epiphysis so pineal gland is also known as that is called epiphysis epiphysis so pineal gland is also known as epiphysis please note it down it is 0.1 to 0.2 gram it is 0.1 to 0.2 gram in weight let's talk it is located between it is located between cerebral hemisphere Let's talk. It is known to secrete melatonin hormone. It is known to secrete melatonin hormone. So melatonin hormone is also known as sleeping hormone. Look, why we call it photosensor? You know, you cannot sleep with open eyes. Can you? can anybody sleep with open eyes and if you can't why do you have any idea anyone come on guys tell me 
why can't a person sleep with open eyes and if you know that kind of person you can tell me why you can't sleep without closing your eyes tell me guys iram yusuf said are you sleeping no sir no <laughs> so come on tell me look uh always give the answer i mean you may be wrong no way so uh, <clears throat> look uh whenever uh, melatonin is a sleeping hormone it is secreted by the uh, pineal gland so whenever this hormone is secreted then we go to the sleep right and uh, those people who are, who feel more sleepy means there is a over secretion of melatonin and those people who have very less sleep they uh, there is a hypo secretion means less secretion actually what happen whenever we our eyes are open right then light directly go inside our eyes and melatonin secretion do not take place pineal gland then do not act to work whenever we closes down the eye only then the melatonin secretion takes place melatonin secretion takes place in absence of light whenever the light do not goes inside our eye right then the melatonin secretion takes place that's why a person cannot sleep by open eye why because his eyes remains open then then, then uh, the light will go inside melatonin secretion will not take place and the person will not see right so this that's how it is uh, this hormone work and it's called photosensor is it clear yes sir it is known to secrete melatonin hormone please write down it is known to secrete melatonin hormone it is called sleeping hormone because it is called sleeping hormone because it promote sleep it is also known as biological clock it is also known as biological biological clock as as it maintain the 24 hour cycle of as it maintain the 24 hour cycle of day and night what does it mean biological clock suppose that if i am i lives in a room where i do not comes from comes uh, to know that either it's day or it's night and i do not have t- television i do not have any watch then i will not come to know either it's day or time or day or night outside then what will happen is still i will sleep at the day time sorry at the night time and i wake up at the day time right how does it happen it happens because we always sleep at the night time we always wake up at the morning time it happens because of this biological clock right so this is 24 hour clock so what happens suppose that you are staying in india or some nearby country in asian country and you are traveling to america what will happen when you will reach the america this this will become just opposite now your biological clock get disturbed so what happened your biological clock it already set right whenever it is day time over here you will feel uh, you you will you will wake up right you will uh, remains awake so what will happen when you go to usa you at the night time you keep on wake up right at the day time you feel sleepy so what is that because that is our biological clock your biological clock is always set right as per asia so you feel uh, something different this this condition is called jet lag after some time what happens when you keep on staying at that place after 15 or 20 days your biological clock again reset and then you become adapted to for that particular country so that's why it is called biological clock is it clear to everyone why we call it biological clock because it maintain the uh, cycle of day and night 
and the cycle of day and night and night is called circadian cycle this is called circadian cycle circadian cycle right got it now the next is next gland is thymus gland is it clear to everyone pineal gland yes sir so thymus gland is only gland uh, its size reduces or increases to time to time right at the age it depend on the age span when a person take birth the size of thymus gland remain 50 10 to 15 gram when it grow up as adult in grown up adult it is 30 to 40 time so 40 gram when a person become at mid age it is 10 gram and if a person become older it degenerate right so this is the gland which is smaller then grow larger then become smaller then reduces right so this is the beauty of this gland and no, no other gland function like this one now you can see what is the position of this thymus gland the position of thymus gland is just between our lungs and below the neck right so this is thymus gland uh, and uh, the thymus gland have two lobes so uh, uh, and every lobe have a small small sac this is called lobules and uh, these lobules uh, secrete the thymosin hormone thymosin hormone <coughs> help in the development of wbc that's why that's why uh, it it maintain the immunity so if thymus gland become weaker the immunity of our body reduces right one more important thing it is considered that during the during the old days the immunity of a person become at its, its weakest stage the reason behind it thymus gland degenerate so that is the thymus gland is it clear please take this screenshot and draw the diagram after the class clear to everyone yes sir okay so please start writing down about the thymus gland at the birth time it is 10 to 15 gram at the birth time it is 10 to 15 gram comma it grow up to age of puberty it grow up to age of puberty when it ranges between 30 to 40 g when it ranges between 30 to 40 g full stop and it reduces up to 10 g and it reduces up to 10 g till mid adult life plus stop this appearance of thymus gland this appearance of thymus gland is called aging full stop next point it secrete thymosin hormone which stimulate which stimulate development of which stimulate development of certain kind of wbc which are involved in 
development of immunity. Right, so this is the function of thymus gland. Tell me, guys, is it clear or not? Saida, Iram, clear? Everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zena, clear? Okay. Yes, so sir. I, okay, great. So I think you must have taken the screenshot. Now, what is the next gland? That's the thyroid or parathyroid. It's very important. Even thymus is very important. So frequent asked question. And thyroid gland is very important. Look, this is the actually diagram of thyroid gland. So this is the position of thyroid gland, like this way. Now this is the posterior. This is the picture from the posterior and this is the picture from the anterior. So there is a like vocal cord where you will find the thyroid cartilage. Then on the thyroid gland cartilage, there is a thyroid gland. And then below part, that is called trachea. So thyroid cartilage is part of trachea. So it remains stuck. At the back of this thyroid gland, so this red color gland is thyroid gland. Right? At the back of the thyroid gland, you will find this yellow color, small P-like P, P, P -like structure. These are called parathyroid gland, right? So that's why I told you that the thyroid and parathyroid gland, mm -hmm. both are found in simultaneously. Now look over here. Thyroid gland is made up of a small small follicle like structure these are called thyroid follicles right and around thyroid follicles there are small cells which are called c cells right these thyroid follicle these thyroid follicle have so follicle means that is a bubble like structure so that is bubble like structure so inside this thyroid follicle there is some colloidal t3 and t4 hormone remains filled what is t3 hormone triiodothyronine and what is tri t4 Tetraidothyronine, right? So collectively T3 and T4 are called collectively T3 T4 are called thyroxine hormone, right? So what is the function of uh, like this? This is the uh, hormone secreted by thyroid follicles. Now come to the C cells. C cells secrete the thymocalcitonin hormone. The name of hormone is thyrocalcitonin. So uh, by the way, both uh, these both of cells are found in thyroid gland and they secrete two kind of the hormones. Now, what is the function of thyroxine? It is written over here. They regulate the metabolic rate, means our rate of reaction of our body. They re regulate. They stimulate the protein senses. They stimulate the protein senses in our body. They help in development of the brain. And uh, they help in metamorphosis of the frog. Right. And what is the function of this thyrocalcitonin? They lower down the calcium level and suppress the calcium releasing from the bone. What happened? Suppose that the calcium level increases in our blood. We have taken a large amount of the calcium. What they will say, they will do, they will reduce the level of, they will balance. Rather than reducing, they will balance the, by decreasing the amount of the calcium, they will balance the um, uh, amount of the calcium in our blood and extra calcium will be deposited in our bones. And they, they will stop bones to releasing of calcium from bones, right? So that is the function of thyroid gland and thyrocalcitonin. Is it clear or not? Tell me. First, take this yes, screenshot of this, this one, right? Take the screenshot of this one. Note it down all this information, like in the same way. It will help you a lot. This is called a schematic diagram, basically. Note down the, all the things in this, this way. Then I'll explain the same thing. Sir, after uh, this lesson finish, the batch will start from the first chapter uh, after this achha, okay the batch will then the batch will start with the first chapter i don't yes, know basically, sir. Uh, basically uh your son is teaching i don't know uh, how how he is teaching what is his strategy actually he'll tell you right so okay, sir. i have, have just completed the portions what complete uh, what the what portion you have completed because this is a bigger oh, portion wait, i'll tell you We've Sorry? completed uh, structure, cell structure and function. Okay, cell. Value. And uh, uh, photosynthesis in higher plants. Okay. Breathing and exchange in classes. Right. Uh, body fluids. Yeah, that's it. And this is now we are in chemical coordination. Okay. So actually, this chemical coordination part. Uh, this this is the biggest chapter in all your syllabus, right? 
it will take some time because there are almost 12 gland i have already told you right and you you have to study each and every gland so after uh, after this 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 uh, chapter uh, whatever the will start uh, the, the, the rahul sir will tell you right because he is your uh, he is taking the batch regularly i am just filler so i came to discuss this topic so are you getting all this concept whatever i am telling you because i don't know how how the sir is teaching getting all the point is there any disconnect no sir okay fine so please note it down then i'll dictate done done okay so please write down so yes we won't be having test today do you give a regular test like miss in every class no no, no rahul sir said that we had test today for uh, body fluids and breathing and exchange of gases no no it's not test today i just uh, i have been passed yesterday i got the information actually uh, i am teaching some other batches right so yesterday i got the information that i have to take the class because uh, today sir is not available due to some like uh, okay yeah emergency so then i was assigned to take this class then i said yes okay i'll take the class so right so do one thing please note down thyroid gland thyroid is the largest endocrine gland it is underlined that is the largest endocrine gland right thyroid is the largest endocrine gland located at anterior to located at anterior to thyroid cartilage Let's stop. Next point. This is the only gland that store hormone in large quantity. This is the only gland that store hormone in large quantities for about two months. for about 2 month 
So this is the only gland which is stores the hormone for future next two months and right. So next point. It secretes three hormones. Thyroxine. Thyroxine. Thyrocalcitonin. Thyroxine. And thyrocalcitonin. First off, what is thyroxine? What is thyrocalcitonin? I don't think so that we need to write it down. So, T3 and T4, it is written over here, T3 and T4 collectively called. Now, uh, write down what is the function? Function. What is the function of these hormones? So, uh, first, write it down the function of thyroxine. Function of thyroxine. It regulates metabolic rate under thyroxine. I will separately uh, dictate the function of thyrocalcitonin. It's, it regulates the metabolic rate of body. Next. It stimulates protein synthesis. Next, it help in development of brain. Next point, it increases, it increases Heat production, hence maintain, it increases heat production, hence maintain body temperature. Next. Thyrocalcitonin. is secreted thyrocalcitonin is secreted when calcium level thyrocalcitonin is secreted when calcium level thyrocalcitonin secreted when calcium level is high in blood stop it lowers the calcium level by suppressing it lowers the calcium level by suppressing release of calcium release of calcium from bones full stop right so this was all for today and uh, let's see in next class maybe uh, sir will uh, teach you else, I, else i'll be there right so we'll continue with this topic okay right so did you got all the uh, all the point which we discussed today or you have any confusion any doubt no sir